Yo, yo, what's going on guys, your boy Apathy, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A for you guys. You guys asked the questions and I got the answers. When did you start YouTubing and what are your future plans for your channel? I started doing YouTube in the middle of Ghost when I first joined TK. I realized that this was a great opportunity and I had so much fun doing it. I love, you know, expressing myself, you know, showing some cool videos or some cool clutches, so I just fell in love. My future plans for this channel, I have no idea yet, man. I... I have so I've been through so many ups and downs, you know, I post good content and I post some decent content that's some bad content and stuff that people don't like. So it's really hard to balance it out, you know, what I really want to do. You know, at first I my main channel was mainly pretty much about tips and helping people out and then I would post like some skits, some Q&A, some gameplay. But the more I, the more I do my channel, the more I realize like I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna do focus more on some tips and then do some little skits here and there, some Q&As and stuff like that, and some gameplay and this, and then just go away from all the other stuff. And also, of course, I wanna grow my channel as much as I can. I wanna be successful on YouTube because I wanna do this as a career. You don't want gaming to be my career, and the only way I can really sustain a good amount of income is if I start doing a lot better on YouTube. Should pros from recent games who've been out for a while and then come back still be considered pro? They shouldn't really be considered pro, but it depends how long it was. For example, if it was last game, you know, they can kind of still be considered a pro because they were a pro last game. It's not a big deal. For example, they were playing, let's say they were playing in AW. They quit halfway and they decided to play it now. It depends also like their status, like how long were they a pro for. But if it was like for a couple games, like they still kind of have their pro status because they were obviously a pro at one point. The only problem is, and a lot of players feel the same way, is they're probably the skill diminished a lot. So that's why players, like pro players, decide not to play with them or not to pick them up because they're obviously, they were so, they were for so long away from the game, you know, the mindset, the, the grind, everything that it's like, it's, it's not even worth it at times. Get hit by a bus or see a loved one get hit by a bus? I would definitely rather I get hit by a bus than see one of my loved ones, someone that I cherish, someone that I love get hit by a bus. That would be like, that would be something I, I do not want to see. Like, I would rather take the hit than someone else. That's just the way I am. How did you and Maria meet and did you know she was the one? Me and Maria met during senior year, I will never forget. You know, we're, it was just a, a basically, like the crazy part is she was never in my class. I think two months later into school, two, three months later, I think their class moved some students into, into this, into the class I was in. So she managed to get in my class. And then I remember one day, I think, um, I don't know, she was always kind of friendly and always out there and she would always talk to me here and there even though I was pretty quiet. I was always tired from gaming all those long nights. You know how it is for us grinders who go to school, you know, going to bed late, waking up early, you feel so tired. But I remember, um, I don't know, she was just really friendly, she was talking to me and we were even assigned a group at one point, I was with her. And she just, she, she really was the one that made me want to talk to her more because she was very, like I said, very friendly, very social, she would always talk to me. And you know, we just started talking more and more. She be and then I remember there was one day that I was like sad over so I forgot what happened, but I was pretty sad. And then she just kept like trying to talk to me and I think that was the day that she started talking to me more and I like I, I guess I, I I opened up to her more. And then after that, you know, we actually uh about like two months a month or two months about being friends, we finally got together, we started dating, and the more I dated her and the more I was with her, I realized like this is what love is. Like she made me feel special in so many ways. I made I love I made her feel special. I loved being around her. You know, I loved her. I loved like everything about her, you know, the way she is, her personality. And like I don't know, like the, you know they're the one. Like obviously in the beginning of the relationship it's always the best. But like even even a year into our relationship, like I will forever love her. You know, we're about to hit four years in a month, which is absolutely insane. We're actually going to hit four years together. That's that's a long time. And I'm just very happy to be with her. Like, till this day, like, obviously she's annoying. She has her parts that I'm like, fuck off. No, nah, I'm kidding. I don't say that. But, you know, she could be annoying at times. She could be very stressful. And it can be stressful being in a relationship and being gaming at the same time. Especially the amount of hours we got to put in. But I definitely would do it all over again, you know. I just love her. Do you plan on playing in the Challenger League until Season 2 of the CWL? I do plan on playing the Challenger League until Season 2 of the CWL. It's the best option I could do right now. It's my best bet. I obviously don't want to quit. I feel like I'm extremely talented in this game, so hell no, I'm not quitting. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to try to get into the next season and just fucking start showing up, showing people what's good. Why are you trying to be like the Hodge Twins so bad, B? Yeah, man, yeah. I don't try to be like the Hodge Twins, you know. I, it's the main the main reason why I started like talking like them and acting like them is all because of Saints. Like Saints, 
Saints kept doing, like, I watched them before, but I stopped watching them. And then Saints kept, like, like mocking, not mocking them, but wasn't mimicking them. You know, would be in the game, he'd be like, you're looking good, man. Yeah, man. And then, like, and then at the event, he was doing it, and then this fucking, I just caught on it. Like, I, I've, I've been barely doing it now that, like, I unteamed, like, now that Saints left, you know. It's just something you pick up when you team with players. You kind of pick up their habits and what they're saying. But I don't really try to, like, be like them, but I, I do think they're two wonderful, great people, you know. They, they've inspired me in some ways and, you know, they're just doing a great job overall. Mad respect. Have you ever had sex with multiple people or girls before? Hmm. I've actually had a foursome once. A fivesome? Was it a fivesome? I don't remember, but it was pretty interesting. You know, we... It, it was intense, man. I'm kidding, guys. Obviously, uh, I've never done that. Probably never will because I'm in a relationship. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do those kind of things. But, yeah. I don't, I don't even know why I bothered to answer this question. I, I don't, I think it's a pretty bad question. Next. What do you think about E6 and future of the team? Question mark, question mark. I love E6. I love the organization. I think they're a great, great group of people. Uh, you know, they do a lot for us, very respectable. And you know, I don't know what's gonna happen. That's the only problem. We obviously didn't do well in the qualification. We obviously, in both of them, online and online. And we obviously had a lot of downs. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen yet. I haven't talked to Dito. I haven't really talked too much to E6. I barely. I haven't talked much to Study. The only person I'm talking to a little bit of Sensor. Uh, you know, obviously, I like I said, they're a great group. But with the future coming up, you know, future or well, the future is ahead. I don't know. Fuck, I said that. But you know, I don't know what's gonna happen in the near future. You know, nothing is pr no nothing is certain. I'm pretty sure everybody's waiting at least a couple more days to see what all these orgs are doing. You know, but I'm pretty sure everyone wants to participate in the Challenger League. It's the smartest thing to do right now. So I don't have any more information for now. Let's see what happens. Would you consider yourself one of the best regardless of your tournament wins? I don't know if, as one of the best, but I definitely would consider myself up there as a very, very, very good player. You know, uh, the thing is like, I, I hate saying this because I don't I one I hate being cocky like I, I I hate that like I hate people who are cocky but I think I'm very extremely talented in this game I was pretty talented at AW but I do agree I was a little inconsistent at times and you know I feel like I'm very extremely talented in this game you know I'm good in all game types pretty much uh, and in AW I, I wasn't like that all the time but in this game I'm very strong in all the game types you know especially S and D and you know I showed up and it just sucks that. You know, having one player do bad, which is obviously, you know, ha they have the reasons. Maybe they weren't prepared enough. Maybe they didn't play a game type, certain game type enough. Maybe they just weren't on that map or they were just not feeling it. I don't know what it is. They usually have one player doing bad on one map. And then it kind of costs us. Like, it's never like we're all even out, you know, or it's like we're all putting the same amount of skill, like, amount of kills and all, and like, all that stuff. It's always like one player, like, going double nag or something like that. And that's been, like, a story of my life, you know. I... I remember in AW, I like for events and stuff, I would go off first map and then we'll lose by like 20 points because another their 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 other teammate went off like on the other team and then one of my teammates just went like double neg and it just we lost because of it. But it is what it is. Like nobody's perfect. People are gonna do bad. People are gonna have their mistakes. You know, I'm not gonna always play good. I'm gonna have a bad map here and there. But you know, it just it just sucks. But I, I do think I'm very talented. I, I do think I'm very good and. I, I, I like surprise myself at times like when you do some crazy stuff and you do some crazy plays You're like how the fuck did I just do that? And you're like just you're just cheesing you're just like Because you know like what the fuck did you do like are you that good? Like that's what I do myself. I've been doing to myself recently in this game Like I've just been making plays. I've been playing very good and I don't know. Let's see what happens How did you get so beautiful and talented at COD? How did I get so beautiful? I don't know how I got some so beautiful uh, it might have been the genes. Um, obviously, uh, Bulgarian with Peruvian. Uh, my dad's Bulgarian, my mom's Peruvian. And then I got, I, I growed out my beard. I have like a little mustache here. It never connects. You guys can see, like, it almost connects, but I don't have that full connect, and I don't think I ever will. I'm just, fuck, man, I hate that. Okay, okay, but, and how did I get so good at COD? Man, you know, Sender, I just, I just grind, man. And I want to be, I want to be one of the best in COD. That's, that's what really pushes me. That's what motivates me. I love being successful. I, I love being so good. And that's, just, yeah, man. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Q&A video. This has been your boy, Apathy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.